and we are in line six. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. So let's look at that. The A part of six. He shall judge among the nations. So he's going to judge among the nations. That's easy enough. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. Not only is he going to judge the nations, he's going to fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. So he's going to also break in pieces the heads of many countries. You're not doing what you need to do. You're not ruling righteous. He's going to break in pieces. Some, sometimes, you know, rulers think they're invincible. But they're not. 68.21. Um, that says, But God will wound the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of the one who still goes on, and his trespasses. So God is going to wound the head of his enemies. That's symbolic of what? Of Satan. What uh uh he gonna bruise Satan's head? Um the hairy scalp of the one who still goes on in his trespasses. So now that's in the Psalm 55 23. I can't remember what that one. That was about 55, 23. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirst and deceit of men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. And that is true. You're not going to live out half your, half your days. Bloodthirsty and deceit of men. Are you always uh, thirsty for blood and deceitful? You're not going to live out half your days. All right, and then so moving on to line seven, it says he shall drink the he shall drink of the brook by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up the head. So he gonna drink of the brook by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up the head. And so all of those capital H's that's dealing with the Lord. All right, that's dealing with the Lord. The Lord is gonna judge all of that he really is he shall drink of the brook by the wayside therefore he shall lift up the head <sighs> and then you have a whole land full of the dead it's just best to be right and live right and do right i i i keep saying that um because we are going to be held accountable. Whatever we say and do. All right. Whether good or bad. I mean, Jesus himself said that. So. Uh, and going back and, you know, going to hear people. Oh, well, uh, we're, we're saved by grace, not of works, lest any man should both. Not of ourselves, lest any man should both. True so true we can't be good enough to save ourselves and if that's the case and i said this before then jesus didn't have to come and suffer and die on the cross and and all of that he didn't have to go through all that punishment if that was the case if we can earn our way to heaven that way but once we have taken on christ we're new creatures in him those who are not in Christ are going to be judged, and the one who are in Christ is going to be judged too. We all have to go through a judgment. So, and so what I'm saying is that, and we're all going to be held accountable, whether you're a Christian or not, for the deeds that are done in the body. So, but anyway, um, that's it for Psalm uh, 113 until uh, next time, Lord's one will be in Psalm 114. I'm sorry, not one. I'm, I'm so ahead of myself. 
Psalm 111. <laughs> so we're going to be in Psalm 111. So I may just go ahead and record that. Not It doesn't have, uh, it has a lot of, well, somewhat like reference scriptures, but not not as in detail as as Psalm 110 had. And so I may just go ahead and uh, record that. I think I have a little in me. It's getting late, but I think I have a little in me to be able to record it. I know I look haggard. But anyway, um, so it's not about that. Keep the faith. Keep the focus. <laughs> Stay on the Lord's side. And just know I love you. May God bless you.